Hey guys, what's up? We're back. So, uh, before I start on anything, I wanted to check if you guys know this. So, I have no idea if you guys have been doing all this crappy little holiday mini event things, but this one, Lillian, every hour you can go to her and she's going to give you a dining table coupon that you can go and click here and then every hour you can get 30 chi. Now, I know that's not a lot to some, but it's Sunday and uh, if you're, you know, on the computer, you can do it every hour or so and uh, it does accumulate to quite a lot of chi and you can do that, I guess, uh, 24 hours um, you know, until the event is over. Um, it's just, it's just, um, I mean, I think, holy crap, that was loud. I don't know if you guys hear that, but that's a massive fucking thunder. There is a massive uh, rainstorm um, hitting the city. And uh, yeah, I know what you must be thinking. You're like, oh, but you live in the Middle East, where it's not desert. And I wish it was to some extent, but fuck it. Uh, no, it's not. And uh, there's insane weather here. Um, holy shit, that was really fucking loud. Maybe there's a war starting, I don't know. <laughs> no, uh, I can hear the rain right now. Unless it's acid rain and we got bombarded by chemical weapon or some bullshit, but yeah, I'm just, uh, it's just, uh, uh, well, I'll just call it Middle East uh, humor. Anyway, just wanted to show you guys this Lillian dude, um, a girl that gives you uh, three chi every hour, and I don't know if you, any of you guys know, but this also gives you, um, I think it's 70 chi a day, this kingdom quiz officer. You can come to him every day, and you, you start the quiz, and then he asks you a bunch of questions. I already did it today. He asks you a bunch of questions. You always need to answer yes, uh, or the left side answer. And after a few questions, every question is, I think, I think it's 10 chi. So every day that's 70 chi. So I don't know if you guys knew that or not, but if you haven't, you lost a fuckload of chi. And I pity you guys. But if you do know this, then uh, everything is okay. Alright, so let's go back to the main thing I actually wanted to do um, today, which talk about the war that is being going on in this server. And I'm, I'm, I'm sure you guys have seen all the fights on um, Napster, I uh, think who else was doing it, um, Dave was doing it, um, I think I saw a few more, um, but I want to, I'm not going to show you guys what they did because there's tons of people who do that, I'm just going to do a tiny recap of the week, of the week uh, event, and tell you what happened, I, from what I saw. So let's start with the skill team PK, even though I think I've did it, I've done it in one of the episodes before, but, um, yeah, uh, Luca won first, and then Tyrone second. And I don't know if I told you why that happened or not, but Tyrone team is two waters, one monk, and two attackers, which is Tyrone and one of the Oreos, all right, whoever is uh, one of the Oreos. And Luca's team is Luca, is like, it's basically two waters, one monk, and then two attackers, which one of them is a Shadow Dancer and the other is Luca. So it's basically two kings versus a king and um, a duke, but it doesn't matter if he's a duke or not. What matters is, is his stats. Now, Oreo stat is um, break immunity and break, and in skill team PK, everyone has the same BP, so break does nothing for you. Only what only matters is your uh, crit and immunity. So. It, it might not, it might, like, the immunity break character um, might have done a lot of hits, but he didn't have the critical strike to do enough damage, and they lost on damage. Now, let's move on from that. I just, I just wanted to point it out, because if they took someone, instead of Oreo, just specifically for skill team PK, if instead of Oreo they brought in 
uh, a duke, any, any, you know, even, even, not even a duke, anyone plus 12, even, that had a, a lot of um, immunity and crit, and it would have been a lot better than uh, Oreo because with the break it did nothing because everyone on the same BP. And that's a shame because they, they potentially could have won it if they could have just brought anyone with crit. They, they uh, crit and immunity, they would have won it, I think. But uh, they didn't, so uh, let's move on. <laughs> Alright, so at least Elite Team PK, Shadow Duster got first, Luca second, and Bruce third. Now, I don't know if you guys seen Bruce. Bruce is a kick ass. Now, I think he's fire. I think they changed him to fire for the elite, the cross server elite. Holy crap, this, these thunders are scaring me. Anyway, <laughs> um, so yeah, Bruce is a kick ass fire right now, I think. And then Tyrone got, well, he's top 8, and top 8 doesn't matter. Sadly, top 8 doesn't matter. So yeah, elite PK. It was two from Luca's side and one from uh, Oreo side. And then let's go to the Team PK that was yesterday, if the lag allows it. It's been very, very laggy uh, today, I don't know why. Alright, so Kamisama is uh, Luca's team. They got first, and then Oreo got second. And the thing is, the fight was crazy because uh, Oreo team was winning on so many points, and they had the same teams. They had the same teams as, as skill team PK. And the difference is, in, in team PK, BP matters. In skill team PK, BP does not matter. So, if everyone is on the same BP, then anyone with break will do absolutely no good. It's just not gonna, it's not gonna help them. So, uh, and they were winning until the last couple of uh, moments, I guess. I, don't know, I didn't count. I didn't see exactly uh, when the fight was supposed to be over. But one of their waters uh, DC, and they were fighting four against a five. And that they had uh, Beru, the guy I just did a video on. And even though he is a beast and he has insane. Immunity and uh, technically he does have plus 12 boots uh, at, with peace with uh, level 6 immunity, so he has the same BP as her. Anyhow, he's a beast, got crazy immunity, he's still one water, and uh, the two kings focused on, on him, and uh, he got him, got him killed on the last moment, and they lost, even though. They were winning on a fuckload of points. It was like five million points or something. I don't know, something crazy. So they lost, but they barely lost. So this war is insanely close. I mean, you can see, yeah, he won first, but it was mad, mad close and very freaking lucky that they were able to do that because I don't know, it's way too uh, close for comfort for any of the teams. So um, yeah, these two two events were pretty, pretty uh, you know one on like a razor's edge. You know, it's it's barely barely won it uh, on both events. And uh, I told you why they won on skill team PK, and they shouldn't they should have lost in um, in team PK. But luckily, one of the waters from one team DC'd, so they won. Congratulations, right? And now, going to third place, my boy Mystic. Now Mystic, um, he, he actually, I saw it before that he was, um, he broadcasted just before the event that he's buying, um, he's buying a water and a monk. Sort of him saying, um, hey, you know, I need a team. Which is, I, was, I thought it was really funny. But it's kind of sad that and I actually told one of one of the guys on that side on Oreo Twist that you got this crazy, crazy good um, character, and you don't like make a team around him for events. That's just a waste. It's a massive, massive waste. You have one of the best uh, players and characters, and you're just not using him. I mean, it's it's great for morale to maybe bring more and more people to the server. But it doesn't really help if you don't build 
uh, teams around them. So, uh, yeah, I mean, if you guys can just build teams on each side, be, just be better at building teams. And then you'll have a lot better chance to win the freaking events. And Mystic, my boy, he won third place by himself. So, technically, he got better rewards as third place than any of these teams because he don't need to share it with anyone but again um i mean yeah that's great for you man but still if you guys can build better teams that would be a lot better for the war effort i mean think people think anyway um let's go to capture the flag because uh why the fuck not that's the last event well there's Guild War, but Guild War is kind of crappy, no one really gets anything from it, um, besides the greedy little bastards at the end, um, you know, whichever side is the end, no one's really sharing anything. So let's go to capture the flag, because in this event, people actually can get some rewards. So, um, Lucas side on tilt won first again. And uh, Neon got second, but I want you to see the difference in points because Luca got 43k.6 and Neon got 41.3. That's 2k points. That's absolutely nothing. And that's 88 players, maybe even less. Again, it's 113, uh, probably a bit less, but still. Uh, they have the player advantage, and it's barely, barely, barely um, different. So, technically, Luca side won uh, this week's events, most of them, but it was all of them were really, really close. All of them were like you, you had the feeling that they were they were won with a lot of effort and a shit ton of luck, because you know if it was. If that water, if that water didn't DC, who knows what will happen? Well, you know, if he doesn't DC, then they probably would have won. Um, but if uh, instead of Oreo in Skill Team PK, they would have taken um, some other prince with crit, they could have made more damage um, and and won that. So, but you you don't really know. And uh, if it's crazy that it's really really tight. It's really really. A few points here, a few points there, and it's very even. It's very even, even that one side has more people, people, but it doesn't really matter if you have more people if you don't know how to manage them well. Uh, yeah, so management here is, is a word. You have to see what you do, you have to tell people what to do. It's not just, hey, come to the server and help me. If you don't you know, tell the guy what the fuck to do, or give him some uh, support characters or whatnot, then it's not gonna benefit you at all. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's my two cents uh, of the war, but... I am very excited because this war is very freaking tight and you know one week this this side win and the other maybe the other side win and every event is like t really really tight so and uh, it's nice because usually on most servers it's very meh it's very like uh, you know who's gonna win you know who's gonna be on top 8 you know who's gonna take guild war you know who's gonna win you know, first, second, third place in, uh, you know, capture the flag. You know exactly everything because everything is rigged and there's like two kings controlling everything and, you know, it, it's it's like a, um, a empire. No one's gonna be, no one's gonna try and uh, throw your rule. So it's really fucking cool that here in uh, Jiang we have this massive war that, um, you know, Dukes and princes and whatnot, and they do have one king. They do have one king. So, uh, but against two other kings, which is not easy at all. Especially that Luca Ita is uh, maybe some people. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not judging anyone for skill, but his character is fucking crazy good. All right, he just won um, capture the. Uh, it was like um, cross server elite PK the other day. His character is massive, massive good. Some people say he doesn't have skill or have less skill or whatever. I'm not judging anyone for skill. I'm judging people for the character that they're building. And that character is freaking good. 
So uh, yes, that and Shadow Dancer as well is a pretty good character. I cannot say it's a bad character, obviously. Um, as well as Tyrone, but that's still two kings versus one king. Um, so you do have advantage, but it's, it seems like they don't really... I mean, it's really freaking tight. It's 2k points. That's nothing. It's absolutely nothing. 2k points is really, really... I, I think I, I by myself made... 2k points. Uh, I can I can show you guys how many points I did. Um, my guild, by the way, got third place. So hey -o. And um, yeah, so those are pretty nice rewards. And I'm gonna show you guys exactly how how much uh, how many points I did in the last capture the flag uh, thing. All right, I did three. <laughs> sorry, uh, 3k.9 exploits. Alright, and then Athena did 2.3, and Loki did um, 7.66. So, it was three people, three people, and we got uh, over 2k points. So, if if um, any of these guys, like if, let's say, if, uh, Neon, if Neon Light could get two more people in, three more people in, um, and I know they have more, so they could then they could potentially um, overtake Luca, And uh, again, if Luca will not bring in the numbers every week, um, things might change here between these sides. Um, I know people, you know, they brag a lot and they broadcast a lot. Please, you know, transfer, do this, oh, you so shit, oh, you so that. But to be honest, everything is mad, mad tight um, as it goes. And uh, yes, one week they can win it. The other way, the other week, some, um, the other team, the other side can win it. It's mad tight, and I love this war. But uh, yeah, so this is uh, up for today. Uh, just wanted to like a recap of the week. And uh, yeah, Merry Christmas! If anyone's actually celebrating it, I mean, uh, who who really celebrates it here? There's like one percent of people who do. And even they, I believe, do not, you know, do the whole traditional crap, all the crap that they show you on TV and whatnot, crap. They just, you know, it's like a same day, maybe, like, a couple of uh, close family get by or something. I don't know. The only time I actually uh, celebrated Christmas, uh, it was in uh, India, in Goa, which is um, it's a Christian state in India. And that was not very, uh, let's say it wasn't a traditional uh, Christmas, as, as you can see on, um, you know, on uh, television and movies and whatnot. Uh, but it was a pretty nice Christmas. Um, yeah, uh, well, I'm not gonna, it's, gonna, it's not very really PG Christmas, so I'm not gonna talk about it. Um, but uh, yeah, that was the first time I ever uh, celebrated Christmas. It was, uh, well, I can't say it wasn't fun because it was fucking hilarious, it was amazing. But, uh, yeah, PG, PG, well, let's keep it that. So, uh, see you guys next time. <laughs> Bye.